Okay, time for a quick two minute teardown in Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. So anyway, what we've got here is the, um, well, the switch for the shower in the bathroom, which doesn't work anymore. You might have noticed that it looks like it's somewhere between off and on, and it does not turn off anymore. If I pull this cord, I can get it to go on, but not off. So, I've replaced this. There's my handiwork. Pretty good job if I do say so myself and shouldn't. So we're going to take this apart and see what's inside. See if we can see what actually went wrong. So this is kind of a, almost like a big life video, I guess. There's no way I can take this apart without destroying it because, well, for one thing, there's this steel bar going across and that's riveted to the body of the thing. So it's time to get out the wire snips. Try to get through this steel bar and uh, I think there's a couple of screws underneath there. And we can get inside this and try to find out what went wrong. This might take a little while, so I'll be back when I've got this out. Well, that took a little bit of panting and grunting and carrying on, but finally got these two bits apart so we can get to the screws. And yes, I did try drilling the rivets out, but they just keep spinning around, so I had to just cut the thing open. So let's take these screws out and see what's inside. I'm too lazy to go grab a screwdriver, so I will just do it with this knife. This is probably the part where we find out we're not even going to be able to get inside it. I know this isn't the most interesting subject for a video, but, you know, I'd like to see what went wrong with this thing. Well, it looks like we will be able to get inside it. And just as I suspected, the whole thing fell apart as soon as I tried to get the thing off, so I might not be able to figure out what went wrong with this after all. Hmm, this contact looks rather used. I suppose the other one is the same way. Yep. Alright, so we've got a lot of springs and other stuff in there. It's, I don't actually think we're real. I mean, I don't really think we will get to see what went wrong with this. Got a sort of a cam on this bit here, so I guess that goes in there like that. And that's what makes it turn. Okay, so I have reassembled one side of the contacts and I don't know how this design got approved because to me this seems really stupid. But anyway, we've got one contact here, middle piece here, another contact there. And the way this turns off is when this thing is turned off, right now it would be in the on position but when this is turned off, it pushes this center piece down to break the connection. And that's how it's turned on and off. Well, this is a much better view of it. And like I said, I don't know how this design got approved because all that's holding these center contacts in is just a spring. That's all that's holding them in. There's nothing else there that holds those in place. But this gives you a better idea of how this works. So. And this is in the on position. This isn't pushing the contacts down, but let's turn it to the off position. I think I might have put this in the wrong way around, but let's push it into the off position. Hopefully without parts flying about all over the place. And that pushes the contacts down. And breaks the circuits. Of course, it's very hard to do this without this bit in the thing because everything is just trying to fly off. I don't think it's going to be worth putting this back together, so that was just a little look inside. Anyway, I do have something I want to get off my chest, so that's what I'm going to get on with now. 
Anyway, it's about this sponsorship thing. Now, I've given it a lot of thought, and I've decided that I am going to opt out, because I don't really want it. Or to be more honest, I am chickening out, because it's just too much pressure. I mean, they wanted me to make six videos a month, and I would have got paid for it, but, you know, that's just too much to... I just... that's more like... well, that's more than one video every... um, yeah, more than one video every week, and there's just no way I could squeeze out that much. I mean, I rarely get the inspiration to make videos now. It's not because I don't want to make videos, it's just I don't get so many ideas these days, and when I do get an idea, you know, that's when I want to make a video. So, I make videos because I want to make videos. You know, I get some inspiration or an idea, and if I want to make a video of that, you know, I will. I don't want to make videos because I have to make videos. And also, I don't really want to be an advertising medium. I mean, yeah, it would have been nice to earn a little bit from making videos, but honestly, it's just not my style. So, yeah, I'm going to opt out of this whole sponsorship thing. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to take that bit out of the previous video where I said Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop now has a sponsor. I can do that in YouTube so I don't have to re-upload the video. And I will probably take this part out of this video that you're watching right now. But anyway, that's enough flapping in front of the camera. So, yeah. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and leave a comment if you have one. And as always, until next time, goodbye.